Some people think that fake moths are a problem, but I don't. Let's talk about how you can tell if someone isn't a real moth. Veterans have more wings than moths. Sometimes, if they really want to sell the prank, rarely you will find that they will go get rid of a lot of their wings so that people don't know that they're a veteran. Or they can stay in the dark water, they'll get krilled a lot, anything to get rid of wings. However, not all veterans wear moth attire. Uh, just to trick people. Some of us just enjoy trying to go back to our more innocent days and play like a noob. It's fun and harmless. Occasionally, you'll meet a strange moth with broken legs. They may play invisible instruments, place down items that they do not have, and could not possibly have. They could also post and show spoilers for upcoming seasons. Basically, illegal things in the game and they are very likely someone who is playing on a new account to keep their main account from being banned for using something called mod apk mod apk users are baby hackers and they can't hurt anyone but they can get things for free that other players can't see the reason that their legs are broken is because they're trying to use a chibi mask but we can't see it so it just squishes their bodies lower to the ground. And they cannot hack your account or hurt anybody. Uh, be more worried about advanced hackers that are actually, actually hacking the game, like with their own real skills and not some sort of mod pack. However, if you do find these people, and you will, I'm sure you have already, you should still report them when you find them. New players that act strangely, as if they want to be your lover upon joining the game. There are some weird people who have misunderstood that this isn't a dating game. And the best way to shut people down like this is, goes like this. Here's an example of something that I had to do once. I've only ever met somebody like this one time. One person sat at a table with me and said, hello my love. And I responded with, hello, platonic friend. They left and never came back after. Don't bully these people. They're confused. Set boundaries immediately with people that try to jump into a relationship right away. By saying, I'm not interested. In fact, if they're just being a real problem or if you get any kind of bad vibes from them, just feel free to block. Blocking people isn't toxic. It's healthy to get people that make you uncomfortable away from you. Set your boundaries and always follow them. And here's the one that I find the most. And they're extremely harmless. Probably the most harmless one here, maybe. Well, maybe second most harmless. The veterans just putting on moth attire is pretty harmless. Uh, but the veteran that is grinding on an alternate account that is asking for a guide. You come across a player with a hand symbol above their head, you click it, and now they're temporarily a moth. How I test to see if a person is actually a moth or not is by walking them up to a spirit that they don't have, seeing if they light it. If they don't, they don't want the spirits because they need those to be able to ask for a guide. What you can do after is your choice. You can leave them if you're offended because they just want to go with you for a candle run. Or you can do what I do and take them with you because you're going anyway. You don't have to go get wax that you already got just for them. Just continue as if they weren't there. Sometimes they even friend you after. One time I did this and paid the veteran a heart afterwards to show my appreciation. It isn't a requirement to pay hearts to people just because they helped you. And you should never ask people to pay you hearts but for me it was my choice to show that my love for them was pretty big because they took time to help me. Plus, I don't like to deceive people, and I wanted to tell them who I was without making them feel used. And now that TGC has that ask for a guide system in place, it makes it harder for fake mods to cause you problems. Remember, don't bully any of these people. It doesn't matter what they did. Whether they're confused, pulling pranks, and they don't realize that those are mean pranks. It doesn't matter if they're an adult or if they're a child. Even if they do something harmful, don't bully them. 
If they're actually doing something dangerous or illegal stuff, report them and do not engage for your own safety. Bullying doesn't train people not to act a certain way, it just traumatizes people. It will not correct their behavior in the long run. Confronting people is not the same as bullying. If someone needs to be told that what they're doing is wrong, do so, but you can do it without calling them names. Plus, they can report you if you call them names and curse at them. There are no winners in bullying. Anyway, don't be afraid of mods. When you play long enough, you'll know the difference very quickly between fake mods and real mods. I hope this helped you and made you feel a little bit less uneasy about friending new players. See you on the next one!